Welcome to another trumpet review. I'm Jason Harrelson here at the Harrelson Showroom. And behind me, I have an E-flat trumpet that is one of our early Summit models. We will evolve this model over time to include the machined bell crook and tuning slide. And for now, we have uh, the machined lead pipe and the VGR receiver, so you can unscrew the receiver, change the inserts, adjust flexibility, slotting, airflow, and resonance. And truly, it's the most remarkable uh, adjustable system that is on the market today. Um, we've had it for quite a few years now, and our customers love it. So I want to show you how it works. Here's the horn. And this E-flat, it, it has been lightly used, and uh, it was finished in a brushed and polished combination lacquer. It has the lighter bottom caps, so these are the quarter-inch bottom caps and green power shell. But the really cool part of this horn is that it includes the VGR receiver. So I'm gonna get up close and show you that. All right, so you can see we have a five mm modular mouthpiece in there right now. And I'm gonna take that out, set that down. And here's the receiver, let's unscrew that. There's an insert on the end of this receiver. So I'm going to pull that off. It's a brand new one, so it's a little bit tight. Let me just get it off camera here so I can grab it. All right, so the way we push these off typically is, that one was brand new, I just put it on, is when it's on there, you want to grab with your thumb and push to the side, and that'll pivot it off. Okay, so this is the insert that was inside there, and this one gives us... Uh, let me look at the chart, which one I pulled. This is a 342, so it gives us 342 thousandths of an inch um, on the inside diameter. And the gap setting on this one is a number eight. That means we have 80 thousandths of gap between the end of the back bore, which is right here, and the beginning of the lead pipe. So there's that much space in there. And that amount of gap usually feels pretty good for high pitched instruments or even smaller. So I'm going to show you how to put the insert back on. You can simply take the insert and drop it back into the receiver. So let me do that. I've got to flip it around here. So just drop it in here and then you can screw it on. I'll screw that on and we'll play test this horn. I've already set up a 5mm mouthpiece for this one. And uh, I haven't played this horn much today, or really in the last month or so, so I'm going to play it a little bit. Starting to get a feel for it. round tuning slide on this horn and I built two of these one with the semi round and one with the round the semi round was a silver horn I think we just sold it so it just shipped out and that was a beautiful instrument as well one thing I'll note is that the round slide does give you the feeling of more openness and it's not because the air is flowing through it easier so much as there's less impedance change in this shape so if we were to have a sharp bend here somewhere, then you'll feel more impedance change. And with that, you may have an easier time finding slots and locking in. Uh, with that round slide, I feel like this insert might be too big. So I'm gonna take it out and put a smaller one in there and make this horn feel a little easier. So again, I unscrew the receiver, I pull that insert off, and then I'll put a new one on. And now I'm gonna put on a 338 number six. Okay, so let me snap that back on there. Actually, I'm gonna put it in the receiver the way I showed you. Try to be consistent in this video. 
and screw it back on. The last little bit will have a little tighter of a turn, and that's simply because it's seating that insert onto the mount. All right, let's try the 338 number six. to me. Yeah, it feels a lot better. And this mouthpiece is a different cup and throat and back more than I standard than I normally play on my standard B flat. Uh, so we could adjust those things as well to make everything lock in better. But right now I feel like I'm not putting as much air in, which I like on higher instruments. And it feels like uh, the notes are closer together with this insert. So fine tuning it more, I may even try one size smaller and even increase the gap to see if uh, that makes things easier. take me a few minutes to really hone in on this horn but overall it is a very nice E flat and I would like you to watch for the new series of the Summit coming out with the machined bell crook and tuning slide and possibly even interchangeable bells uh, that may not be for another year or more but that is the direction we are going with this horn so thank you for watching I hope you enjoy the E flat and uh, on one of our next reviews, we'll be reviewing the sea trumpet right behind me.